time Sitting down here by this lake A lot of things went through my mind Should I go or should I? What's up guys? Welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today's test drive is this 1966 Caprice. This one came back as a day coat correct. 327, 275 horse motor. This should be the original motor in this car. Does have power brakes. And of course, we're going to be taking it down the road, pointing out any kind of flaws so you know what you're getting before you get here. This one has nice clean bumpers on the front and rear. Single exhaust kicked out on the left. The driver's side in the back and the interior is practically new. It's a beautiful interior in this ride. Coming across the dash and around in the back. This should be awesome. Don't forget to hit subscribe, share, hit like that. It helps me out quite a bit. Check out maplemotors.com for financing and shipping. And for now, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, we'll look around the interior, check everything out, place those bets. Do you think the horn works? It's a game we like to play here on the channel. Like I said, the interior is beautiful on this. We'll be going over all that towards the end of the video. I actually did the walk around and it confused me a bit. First, I usually do that at the end of the video. Um, just trying to mix it up and it definitely uh, confused me a little bit. I'm sure you'll catch some things that I do backwards. But yeah, right now we're getting ready to take off. So I need you to place those bets. We're gonna go ahead and start it up. This one I noticed a little bit of a, a little bit of smoke coming out of it upon start there. I'll have to get the key and open that here in a little bit. It helps it open up the glove box. The gas gauge is over half a tank. I do believe that works. Let's try the wipers out. They are working. Radio. Blower motor is working. Sounds pretty good too. Nice and silky, unlike some of the controls. I get comments saying, are we being too rough on it? Well, you don't understand. Sometimes it feels like somebody sprayed coke off into the dang uh, controls and I cannot move them. But this right here, I'm just barely moving them. They're working great. They feel good. But yeah, you get some of these that have like controls that are original and they just are stiff. Horns, you place the bets. Let's try the turn signal first. Left side, right side, horn. Works good. Sweet. The ashtray on this one's in good shape too. Look at that. Barely used. <laughs> All right, guys, let's hit the road and we'll see how she runs and drives. Okay, here we go. Getting ready to take off. Anything that I see that is wrong with this, I will let you know. That is why I'm doing the videos. Let's go on up to the gas station. This is the first time I've driven this ride, personally. Silky smooth, nice power steering on this one. The gas gauge, I think the gas gauge is working. I don't think we're gonna have to stop at the gas station at all on this one. It does have a left pull. And it does have older tires on it. You can definitely feel the road throughout. Kick down is hooked up on this one. Speedo seems pretty correct. nice and tight. She's got plenty of pickup. Getting down in the brakes. Brakes feel good, nice and smooth. What we're gonna do now is head to the church parking lot back here. And we'll get some undercarriage shots. We'll also get some overhead stuff. And then we'll head back to the lot and we'll do picking out the flaws, which I've already done, but I'm gonna put it at the end just to keep the order correct. All right, 
let's pull in here and have a little fun guys look below in the description you can see a lot of information about maple motors the gear that i use and of course t-shirts we sell a lot of those all right be right back Okay, let's roll out. We're gonna go back to uh, the lot and then I'm gonna grab another car. Of course, at the end of this video is where I'm gonna be putting, picking out the flaws and the sun's starting to shine, which I'm happy about. It's been a little gloomy today. y'all look good yep you're set up just centered you can definitely feel the road through these tires it's the older style kick down set up nicely it's got plenty of pickup getting into the brakes they feel good just kind of stop there's nobody behind us or in front of us so them tires <laughs> you take a turn you can hear them going skirt <laughs> that's great we didn't even take it that hard i've noticed on the turn signal nils it uh actually takes just a second to start blinking once you hit them they don't do it immediately so Oh, he's got somebody pulled over down there. 
Looks like a new Challenger. The mileage is turning over on this one as well. Sometimes you can mess with the clock and it'll start working. It did, it clicked once. Let's see, let's try it one more time. A couple taps there and it took off every time I tap it. All right, we're coming through. This is Brian's Motorsports, guys. He's got a ton of toys down here. He's always working on rides, customizing vehicles. So if you need anything done, he does new and old school customization. He does a lot of Forgiato wheels. So nice little C10 sitting there. Camaro, Grand National behind that. He's got the rat rod up on the trailer that he built. Check it out, brianzmotorsports.com. I just like coming down through here and seeing what he's got going on. What about the dually? Old Impala. You got the Corvette sitting over here. There's a lot going on. But yeah, we'll run around the front here, head back to the lot. And again, don't forget to hit subscribe. Try to do these videos as live as I possibly can so you know exactly what you're getting. I don't want you coming from New York or California or Ohio or any of those states on a car and not knowing about it. I know how that feels. So we try to put it all out there before you make that drive. So he's working on a lot of new trucks, lift kits. And of course, check them out. You can see on Facebook, Instagram, and even here on YouTube, I just got a set of wheels. They're supposed to be showing up this week. So I'm excited about that. And I'm actually tempted. I'm going to wait a couple months to change the wheels on the 71. I do like the ones that are on there, but he's got to set down here. I just think are going to look perfect on there. But, you know, original's pretty good. So I'll ride it for a while. All right, let's head back to the lot. Again, coming up next, picking out the flaws. Thanks, guys. Okay, it's about that time. Walk around this ride, pointing out the flaws. Check out the 100 detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. Financing and shipping's available. Let's get started here. Up front, coming around the front end. Chrome's in pretty good shape. The grill looks great on this one. You do got a few little flaws down here at the bottom. Coming around this side, up and over your fender. And down the bottoms of the doors. down this side back that midsection tail lights on the back have got a little bit of pitting on them door handle on this one's in great shape back over the top a little dirt on the nose there You got a chip right here on the fender. Chrome's got a little bit of pitting on your mirror there. The seal around the vent window's in good shape. Front windshield looks pretty good. Nice and clean trim around it's in good shape as well. All the trim around these windows is not bad, but you got a little spot here in your weather strip. over your back window trim looks good up over the roof
coming around to the back here now we're going to check out the trunk walk up on the trunk you can see the seal around it is in good shape down in the trunk the mat's not in bad shape at all it's older so we're going to try not to mess it up you see it does have some surface rust where moisture has been in the trunk there's some panels on the sides here package tray is not too bad looks clean little moisture on the mat there check this side flip it back over here look around on the trunk lid there you do got some surface rust on the edge going down with this trunk lid need to shut it a little harder it does shut up on the back your bumper on the back is in great shape does not look bad at all coming down this side down this lower portion here get a little bit of pitting down here start to pop up on the trim very light back that midsection door handle on this one been replaced nice and clean Even these have been replaced. Right here in the middle of the windshield, I can see it from this side, I couldn't see it from the other. There's a chip right here. Dead center. You also got a crack on this side as well. And up here, you get a little blemish in the corner. You can see a little paint run there. Back over the top. Not too bad in your jams there looks good okay made it around the ride let's check out the inside we'll get her started up coming up on the door panel here it's in great shape and at the other side of it
carpet in this one's in pretty good shape. Not too bad. The seat's not all tore up. It does have a little piece there hanging. But overall, nice and pretty. Nice and clean. Your back seat. Your package tray. Headliner. Of course, coming across in the interior here. Across the dash. Okay. I think my camera just glitched out on me. Yeah, we're coming across the dash again. This thing is in great shape. I'm loving the door panels and the seats. They're nice and soft, comfortable too. Starts right up. edges here weather stripping or not weather stripping but insulation under the hood is not bad it's older for sure well, down there your edges are still nice and clean on the side of the hood doesn't look like they're all chipped up and it shuts pretty easy not too bad got a good look lining up on this side the hood's nice and clean there good deal guys if you don't mind hit subscribe share hit like help me out and uh keep me doing these videos I do appreciate you watching. I'm doing this a little backwards today. I'm starting with the walk around. And now I'm getting ready to do the test drive. Of course, this is at the end of the video. Be sure to go to maplemotors.com. Check out financing and shipping. 100 detailed pictures. And of course, I'm going to be doing the charger next. So stick around for the next video. We'll be picking out the flaws. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.